Hey, it's David Griffin with SCT Performance and Bully Dog. We're going to be showing you how to validate PIDs when hooked up to your vehicle using LiveLink Gen 2. Okay, so with LiveLink Gen 2 open, we're going to want to choose, I want to data log a vehicle. Okay, it's going to tell you to make sure your device is hooked up to the, to the computer. Hit next, and then also make sure it's hooked up to the vehicle's OBD2 port. Select next, start the engine. You can also just key on if you'd like. Select next, and then we want to select check communication. So you can see it's, it's recognized your vehicle, your strategy at the bottom, the communication type scan, tells you the serial number of your device, firmware version, and that your device is a VDX. So then we can choose vehicle info. So here we can choose, if it's your first time, you can choose validate all items, but I've been hooked to this vehicle before. So we can choose use previously validated items to save some time. Then choose select items. And then this is all of the PIDs, DMRs that we can choose for the vehicle or that are available. So we're just gonna go down and choose, choose a few of them. And you can also see over to the right here, you can actually change the units if you'd like. So we'll change our cylinder head temp from degrees Celsius to degrees Fahrenheit. Choose a couple more. And once we're good, we can scroll over here and hit configure data log. So we can start our log here and we're good to go. We're up and running and we're actually logging the vehicle. So you do have the option to save this config file. So if you want to save this config file for later use, you can see over here to the left, there's save config option. Select that, name it whatever you'd like. We're gonna name ours GT350. And then you can save it to your computer wherever you'd like. Name it GT350 as well and we can use that config at a later time if we'd like. So we don't have to go back and choose each, each parameter again. And that is all.